Hi there, um, just received my Mac Mini from the UPS driver. The Mac Mini M1 has been stuck at the Euro Tunnel for about five days and it's just arrived. Um, so here goes the unboxing. Oh, that's tightly, tightly packed. Nice protective, oh, satisfying. There we go. And I presume that black tape peels off. There we go. That's one side. And then what do we have underneath here? The power cable. Wow, look at that. The steering wheel. And what else do we have in here? Do you know what? That's pretty much it, I think. That's it. That's it. So, we're going to set it up now. Okay, so I've um, got it out. Um, already got my LG 27 inch monitor out and I've tested it, and it is. I actually think it's a better monitor than the iMac. Um, 5k that I've got that's over there. Um, so here we go. Get it powered up. Oh, yeah, I've just powered it up and I've not got the attached. So just connected the um, keyboard and mouse and I'll come to the migration system. I do have a time machine um, and I can migrate it over but I don't want to. I want to do a fresh install of everything because Big Sur has been giving me big problems um, so um, that's what I'm going to do now. Just start from, from scratch. Although it's a bit, a bit ironic that the M1 is no longer an Intel and it's given me an option from a Windows PC. Um, don't like that. Um, so I'm going to say not now, and then I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. Hi there, I've uh, had my uh, Mac Mini uh, M1 for a couple of weeks now, uh, got it just after Christmas, and it's now the 23rd of January, so I've had a couple of weeks to play around with it. <clears throat> I just want to give you an update really of um, uh, how it's performing and what I think of the uh, Mac Mini M1. Um, boy, does it have a lot of uh, glitches and issues. Not so much the M1 and the Mac Mini, but um, Big Sur is an absolute pain without this 11.2 update. <clears throat> and I believe from uh, watching a couple of YouTube videos on here, and also reading some online articles about the Apple partnership, um, that it's going to drop next week, the 11.2 update, um, and hopefully uh, it will resolve some of these issues. So my first issue, and it, this might be happening with you, is that as I um, move around my mouse, uh, the mouse on the screen suddenly disconnects and connects. And I was hoping that it would probably do it now, but with these things, they never, they never do it when you actually um, uh, kind of wanna, want these things to happen. So that's the first thing, is the mouse, particularly the magic mouse, which I've got, connects and then disconnects and connects and then disconnects twice and it happens every maybe every 40 minutes and it's really really annoying and um, so I have resulted to a wired mouse at times when I've been on projects when I've been in Final Cut because um, it's really annoying. Uh, secondly the second issue and I know I've read a couple of articles where people are getting splodges on the screen I'm using the LG um, uh, 27 inch that I bought from the app st uh, the Apple store and I get um, two lines down the center of the screen and I believe this is to do with Big Sur as well and uh, when I restart it and do a restart it, it's not there it's just every so often um, I get those two thin lines down there you, you, it's hardly noticeable from a distance but from close up when you're working in Lightroom it's an absolute pain if you're editing 
Uh, third problem is um, in mail, um, you put your signatures in for both Outlook, exchange, for Exchange and for mail. And then the next time you come back in, once you've put them all in, you've put your graphics, you've set them all up, you've uh, aligned them, they've gone. Well, completely gone. And I probably did that probably three or four times. And then by the fourth time, I got really annoyed and I thought, I'm not putting any signatures in. I'm just going to go to my sent items and just place it at the bottom of an email until uh, this is all resolved. So they're my big three gripes about um, the Mac uh, Mini M1. I did read <coughs> a beta tester's review. Um, he's got the beta version of 11.2 and he actually said it runs much, much faster. Um, so that is encouraging that the, the uh, Bluetooth issues have gone and it runs much, much faster. Um, so I'm looking forward to 11.2 coming out. I think, he, I think he said Tuesday. I can't find my source. Um, I'll try and post it um, uh, here now. Aha, I found it. It was on Mac Rumors. And uh, it just uh, shows here on Thursday, 21st of January, when, when this was posted. Uh, Mac OS 11.2, the release candidate, and developers uh, that now can download the 11.2 uh, beta uh, software. And uh, just seeing some of the bug fi fixes, but also some posts underneath of people have already um, using it and it's running much, much faster. Um, which is great news. Some people have still got a few issues, but I think that's just how they, they've got their things uh, set up, especially their, dis their display. So um, hopefully this week we will see the 11.2 release and it will help uh, us get back on the track with all our workflows. If I've not posted it, I've not been able to find it, I'm sorry. Uh, just wanted to share a couple of additions because I couldn't find many videos um, on YouTube about it, but I bought this. A US, USB C hub and hard driver, a hard drive enclosure, and it's by Hagabis. And it goes on top of your Mac Mini. It's the same size as it. As it, it connects uh, via um, a, YouTube, a, a, a USB C connector at the back. And it's got these USB hubs at the front, and also an SD card and a micro SD card where you can put them. And I just thought that was, that was great um, for the Mac Mini. Normally on the iMac, you, it was fiddling around at the back, um, but with this, um, you can load all your photographs and your videos uh, from the front, which is great. The great thing about this is, is that inside it has a compartment uh, to put an SSD. So I bought the Samsung SSD uh, 870QVO, and uh, yeah, I saw some good reviews about it. So I've put that inside uh, this uh, accessory. And uh, so far, I've not put anything on that hard drive at the moment. I'm still um, weighing up what I'm going to put in there. As you can see from the screen, I've got loads of different hard drives that I'm running different things uh, from for video and for, for my photography and stuff. So on the whole, I'm pleased with the Mac Mini M1. However, if they don't get these things, uh, an issue sorted, um, I, I you know, I could be buying an, I, an iMac uh, this year and getting rid of this Mac Mini. Um, and I've still got my old iMac as well. And um, I'll resort to that if I have to. But uh, come on Apple, uh, get these three issues and probably more of these issues that other people are experiencing. Get them sorted and get this 11.2 uh, update out next week. If you've uh, liked this video, you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it if you could do that and uh, see you for the next one. Take care, bye for now.